is this soundbar going to be best fit for? Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today we're talking about the SC9 LG's OLED-based soundbar meant for their OLED TVs. Doesn't mean you have to pair it with an OLED TV, but it'll probably look the best with one. Now we do have a lot to uncover in this video, so we're gonna break it into four parts. Features, audio, my personal thoughts, and of course, a sound test. So without further ado, let's jump right into the features. So when you're looking at a soundbar, the first thing you should always do is make sure that it's going to have the right connections for the TV that you have or are going to have. The SC9 can connect through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and most importantly, HDMI ARC and optical. Now, usually the best way to connect this is going to be through the HDMI eARC port, which is going to allow you to only use one remote to control your volume rather than two with an optical cable. So I recommend, you know, if you're going to go that way, you should probably go with a quality HDMI cable, especially if you're hooking this up to a quality TV. If you want to know more about that, you can watch our AudioQuest video. They're a great cable brand that we trust and use in our own systems. And as far as standard connections, that's pretty much all you have. If you want to use features like AirPlay or Spotify Connect, which is my favorite, I like Spotify Connect because I can cast whatever I'm listening to from my phone directly to a speaker in my house. So if I'm listening to something on the way home from work and I want to throw it right onto my system at home, I can just use the Spotify Connect and just one of my favorite features I always point out. Now, this soundbar does come with a remote and it's honestly nothing too fancy. You can control a little bit of the EQ, but not much. And it's honestly better if you just use the TV's built-in software. For this soundbar specifically, you're going to be looking for the WOW interface to help adjust the speakers for your system. LG does a great job with their OS and including their sound and audio in that as well is very important and something I can appreciate. Now the SC9 does have buttons on the actual soundbar just above the middle height speaker. They're nice and flush and pretty easy to use. Something though that I really do appreciate about this soundbar specifically is that you get a plethora of adjustable sound mode. Not only that, but instead of having an LED screen to tell you what sound mode you're in, you get this nice voice that I'll insert a clip here to show you in just a second. You get a nice voice that greets you and tells you that you're on this soundbar mode, you're on this input, and I just thought that was a nice addition. Game. Bass Blast. AI Sound Pro. Standard. Cinema. Clear Voice Pro. Sports. Music. Optical ARC. HDMI, USB, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It's definitely a lot better than just guessing what input you're on and, you know, not knowing what mode you're in. Now, it comes with a special mount that you can pair this directly with your OLED TV, specifically the C model. So if you have a C3 or if you don't and you're looking at possibly getting a C3, you should definitely watch our video on that amazing TV. But it has a custom mount built just for this TV, so you don't have to go and buy your own soundbar mount. The ideal case here for LG is to have a premium soundbar match a premium TV, and that's why they went with this design. Also, we can't forget about dimensions. So the SC9 is going to come with with a width of 38.4 inches, height of 2.5, and a depth of 4.9. The subwoofer does come in with a width of 8.7 inches, a height of 15.4, and a depth of 12.3. So not a huge subwoofer, but also not small. And in terms of bass, it pretty much does everything you need to do. I mean, you could definitely get a soundbar that has even more bass, but what are you using it for? Are you using it for movies or are you using it for music? You know, it just depends on what you want out of the soundbar. And if you're a big movie goer, which and if you have an OLED, I'm assuming you might be, this is going to definitely match that quality. The perfect soundbar for 55 inch OLED up to, I would say about a 77. If you're getting an 83 inch OLED, you should probably look at some of the other LG soundbars. Now the SC9 also comes with IMAX enhanced, which is going to make sure that you're going to get cinema like sounds without breaking the bank, which since we're talking about sound, let's jump into our next part. Now, you might have noticed that the 
SC9 is a little different from other soundbars in terms of height speakers. It's a 3.1.3, which is very different than what we're used to seeing. And what this means is there's gonna be three audience facing speakers, one subwoofer, and three height speakers, which is different than most soundbars that only have two. And if I'm being honest, I don't love the way that the center speaker in the middle looks, but I do love the way that it sounds. So if you can get past the look, it sounds amazing. And if you're not familiar with how height speakers work in a soundbar, essentially what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the audio, bounce it up off the ceiling, and hopefully land behind you depending on what kind of room you're in. And most rooms, this works really well. Unless you have some wonky ceilings or they're 20 feet in the air and extremely vaulted, you're gonna get a pretty realistic surround experience. But if you ever wanted to make it even more realistic or make up for that discrepancy in your system, you can actually pair this soundbar with a rear speaker kit that's sold separately. And the one that I'm gonna recommend is the SPQAS wireless rear surround sound kit from LG. And also, if you're pairing this with that LG TV, that C-Series TV, you're also going to get AI Room Calibration Pro, which is similar to some of the other things we've seen out there where it'll actually use the speakers, bounce the audio, and kind of figure out where it wants to send all the volume based on where they are in your system. It's a little more technical than that, but that's kind of the watered-down version. Now, are you still debating whether or not you even need to invest in a soundbar? I'm going to tell you right now the simple answer to that question is yes. And why is that? Well, a couple of reasons, but starting off with the fact that TVs have gotten so incredibly thin nowadays and the picture quality has gotten amazing, it's kind of left no room for the speaker quality to get better. And it's been really thin and they just don't sound that great when they're muffled up against the ground or, you know, if you have an entertainment center below. It's just not going to sound that great. And that's why they had to create the soundbar. So having that soundbar will help you know, actually provide good quality audio. And also it's 50% of the experience, even though you might not think of it. Don't believe me, watch this clip of high quality video with low quality audio and then low quality video with high quality audio and you tell me which one is more tolerable. So this is an example of amazing video quality with terrible audio quality. Let's switch and see what sounds better. Now our video quality has decreased, but our audio quality has gone through the roof, major improvements. What do you guys think? So yeah, I mean, you don't want the sound from your amazing TV to not match. And you know, honestly, if you're watching something, you're probably only watching it once. So why wouldn't you want to watch that in the best possible way that you can? So overall, what do I think about the SC9? Well, I think there's only really one word that I can use to sum up this soundbar, and that's consistency. And you might be looking at me like, consistency? How does that describe the soundbar? That makes absolutely no sense. Well, what I mean is consistency as in where it stands with the lineup and how it was intended to be used. With an OLED, OLEDs have been consistently a great TV from LG since I've you know seen the technology firsthand. And um, you know, just having top of the line quality TVs with top of the line quality audio, I think it's a perfect match. Now it is time for a sound test. So if you wanna pick one of these up and you're not in the Phoenix Metro Valley, you should visit our website. All the links will be down in the description. We really do appreciate your support. If you are here though, you should visit our Tempe retail store. And other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.
Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Waltz so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these and we'll see you in the next one.